Are you ready for a good show? Good, good, because I have a great show for you this evening. I think uh, people that you're going to be very impressed with, some tremendous comedians. This first guy I'm going to bring up, as a matter of fact, well, this, this guy, uh, you know, we've had some coups on this show. Last month I had uh, Barry Crimmins on, who you will see on November's HBO Young Comedian special. This, this guy I'm going to bring up will soon be seen on Saturday Night Live multiple times. Why? Because he's a great act. He's a great friend. Just uh, ate some dinner with him over at the house the other day. He's a tremendous comedian, San Francisco, uh, New York City. Uh, he won an Emmy in San Francisco for uh, Comedy Tonight Show. I know you're going to enjoy him. Please, a nice round of applause for Kevin Meany. Yeah! Mike McDonald, let's hear it for this man, Mike McDonald. Holy come Jesus Louise, will you cut it out? God, you're too kind. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Don't stop clapping. I have so much gaze. I don't know. I tell you, this, the, the, the baseballs make me very excited. It really is, you know. I love to go to the ballpark. I do. The vendors there are terrific, you know. Hot dog! Hot dog! Don't worry, I don't touch it, it's wrapped! Hot dog! Hot dog! Yeah, could you ring that out for me, please? You go to the bars around there, they go to the cask and flag, and you find your fine women there. Buy me a beer! Buy me a beer! What, do you don't like me? <coughs> How come? Because of my teeth? See this one here? It's killing me! Go ahead, touch it, it's loose! Find me a... Give me a sip! Come on! So I'm dating her now. <laughs> I have a lot of dates. I torture my parents with dates all the time. It's fun, it really is. I bring dates home to my parents' house, especially around the holidays. Last Christmas, I brought this woman home, 300 pound black woman. She walked right up to my parents. You know Kevin's real good with sex. Oh, it's nice to meet you. John, she's here. Thanks for spending the holidays with us. John! <laughs> My mom stands there with the big beehive hairdo. Like 10 feet above her head, she can dust the ceiling with this thing, it's so big. I'll get that for you, darling. <laughs> Always wrapping her hair in toilet paper, protecting it from dust. I wake up in the morning, there's so many toilet paper in the bathroom. Mom, could you stand there and spin, please? My Aunt Mary, she has the big beehive. That's because she's the oldest. The older the mini, the bigger the hive. You know that. She's in her 80s now, freezing food like a mad woman. I don't know why, you know? I go over to her house, she's always trying to feed me. Kevin, would you like a piece of pie? I'd love to have a piece of pie, Aunt Mary. That'd be great. I'm right in the middle of it. You know, I put that pie in the freezer back in 1959. Mmm, mmm. How many blackouts will that go through? <laughs> Tastes real fresh. I used to dig to China when I was a kid. Did you ever do that? I just wonder if kids in China were digging to America, you know? Oh, yeah, let's dig to America. Oh, yeah. You have to have a globe to get that joke, I guess. Um, I'm six years old out in the backyard digging away. My dad would come out. What are you doing down there, Kevin? I'm digging to China. Okay, get home for supper. Never tell me it was impossible to dig to China. Never learned why until I was about 12 when I burnt my hands on the core of the earth. <laughs> Chinese guy. Charo took over my body right there for a minute. I don't know. What I, mean. I love to. I, I go to Chinatown. I I drive there when I go. Uh, you, you, you can't buy you can't buy things in Chinatown. You can only buy items. I don't know if if you know this. Excuse me. I like to buy that pen. You want to buy pen? You want to buy pen? Have you a nice pen here for you? Come with pen, clock, date, cycle, everything. Four fifty. Real nice item. Yeah. It's a pen, clock. It's a good everything! 450, run like that! Yeah! It's a pen, clock, it's a good radio, TV, 
hammer on, trash compactor, rectal thermometer. Oh, boy, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Hey, little girl, daddy, ho, go and leave you all alone. Oh, got a bad desire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, baby, 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 good to you. That's off the Great Wall album, if anybody doesn't know that one. It's me, I'm so much gay. I'm afraid of the drugs. I'm afraid of crack. I won't even have crack wheat bread, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One slice, you want the whole loaf. <laughs> Come on, Mom, make me another sandwich. <laughs> Give me the heel, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm getting ready for the holidays. That's always fun. I already picked up my Johnny Mathis Christmas album. Johnny Mathis and Ethel Merman. It's beautiful, it really is. Babies ring, I listen in the lane. News is a beautiful sight. A sight. Walking in wind. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is the new bird. He sings a song. We walk along. So crazy, people. So crazy, Mike. I go shop. I go shopping. People mistake me for an employee. <laughs> Ladies come up to me. Pardon me, sir. Where do I return the gifts? Ah, uh, give them to me. <laughs> Take anything you want. Walk right out that door. <laughs> I'm not gonna get fired, you know. Old ladies are at the door. Kate's taking me away in the handcuffs. You said I could go. I hate you. See you later, Ma. Hey, listen, I had a lot of fun. Thanks very much. I'll see you. Kevin Meany. Kevin Meany. Sit right down here and put that baby on. <laughs> One of those microphone injuries. I guess you're not supposed to hook that onto your nose. <laughs> oh, that's that new miniature mic we give yeah. off. It's kind of a... <laughs> Sorry, home viewer. Yeah. You know, when you've landed Saturday Night Live, you're so smooth with all that equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So that must be pretty exciting for oh, you. Oh, huh? Mike, I'm real excited about that. Yeah. And uh, at... when does that look like that's going to happen? I, I hope. I hope for it to be before Christmas. It, before Christmas in the next yeah. uh, four or five weeks. Then. Yeah. Because they said uh, I was supposed to be on the 18th of this month of October. Right. And they moved it up to the 25th of October, and then they canceled that. And thank God they canceled <laughs> that because they were because uh, the World Series took place Saturday night, and okay. Saturday Night Live didn't even get to be on because of the series. Because of the series. Well, there you go. Another reason to be m bumped, but uh, you didn't get a check from either of No, I didn't get a check, no. It's kind of like tonight, Kev. Uh. <laughs> Are you serious? I am very serious. I had no idea. I thought I had check. <laughs> Excuse me. I have so much gays. <laughs> Kevin's a wild man, good friend, and we've, uh, we've done many, many things in many places. We went golfing, uh, one of my favorite... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he's going to ask on this thing. But My of favorite he's... Kevin stories is uh, we were out golfing. And I hit a, uh, Kevin was very, very proud of a shot he hit in this. And I am, I am a good golfer. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not a good golfer. I look like a good golfer, you know? I look like the type You're of guy. You're damn right you do. I look like the type of guy that would be out on the golf course, you know? That's right. Hitting the links. And he can. He can whack the pill around with the best of them. Yeah. And he hit this tremendous approach shot to the green. And uh, no, none of the rest of the foursome was on the green. But Kevin wanted to admire his shot right up close. So he was on the green while we were all hitting approach shots. <laughs> and uh, wacky as that may seem, I hit an equally nice nine iron to the green, but uh, Very nice. he was standing pin high. <laughs> Where did it hit you, Kev? Kind of like center stage right up here. 
<laughs> made a beautiful sound though, didn't it? I think that could be heard from all the different holes there. You just heard. <laughs> Only or, real Really loud, loud really loud. Yeah. <laughs> but for you home viewer, it really sounds loud, you know? But of yeah. course, for our audience here, that is People live. in the yeah, bar in the 19th hole were going, ooh, somebody got whacked. <laughs> well, that that must have hurt. That hurt for over a year, that hurt. <laughs> for a year, you know? Well, he went down like a shot. Yeah. And, uh, of course, we were all concerned. We ran yeah. right up to the green. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been having a stroke. <laughs> yeah. Brains oh. hemorrhaging right there. It doesn't much matter. We just moved him aside for the putt. Oh boy, that was that was tough. Hey, what do your parents think about this uh, sudden possibility at stardom here? I oh, mean, you got the cable comedy show now. It's yeah, all wrapped up. That's all that matters. <laughs> no, they're really happy, you know. They're but they're crazy, you know. They're just really weird people. Yeah, My, they're all bulimic, are they? <laughs> you know. So I hate to go home for dinner. Oh. <laughs> You know, after you go out to the backyard to the pit, you know. Oh. <laughs> Violently throw up, and then, you know, the rest of them are going, come on, get more pizza! <laughs> How many brothers you got? Uh, three, three brothers? No. <laughs> three, I have three brothers, and I have one sister. One sister. I don't think I've ever met your sister. I've met no, most of your brothers yeah. and many bad drunks. <laughs> Yeah, they're in every every bar, my brother. No, they're they're doing good. My sister's doing well. She's a little baby, little yeah. little Dwyer. Hi, Dwyer. I'll send you the tape. <laughs> now you got a show uh, every Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin, it's TV. It's take me. the hand away. <laughs> you got a show every Wednesday night over at uh, Stitches, Stitches Comedy Club. Right? Did I say? You, I meant Stitches. You crazy? I'm so crazy. No, over at Wednesday uh, at Stitches, yes. Yeah, let's get serious here for a minute. Now, Kevin is one of the... Uh, no, I'm not going to get I've, serious. I've been living here. alone too long. I've been making all these noises by myself all day. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Well, you just moved into a new apartment. Yeah, right? I'm all alone. It's awful, you know? But I, I can't have roommates. Well, I thought you told me you liked living alone. I do like living alone, but I can't have roommates. I don't, I, I don't want... Why? Room Oh, God, you know, I'm, I'm just particular with my food, I guess. <laughs> I come home, now tell me if this is wrong. I come home okay. at night, and I inventory my food. You go now, if something's missing, I mean, I wake up to see who did it, you know? Yeah. Is that, is that wrong? I guess the Wheaties have settled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably what it is. It's one of those settling problems. Yeah. But Kevin, of course, is a marvelous cook, and... Uh, Actually, you used to have a TV show in San Francisco, Cooking with Kevin. Cooking with Kevin show, yes. <laughs> it was a great That's show. That's true. It's, a it's great absolutely show. true. Yeah, we made great food. We were, instead of making a gingerbread, uh, gingerbread house, yeah. we would make a gingerbread lean-to. <laughs> yeah. we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have silver... And this was uh, a few years ago when inflation was a little high and uh, we were concerned. So we wouldn't have uh, silver dollar pancakes. We'd have dime pancakes. <laughs> We'd have little cakes about that big, you know. And it would be so great. About the size right there. <laughs> and the savings on syrup alone were unbelievable. Well, I want to thank Kevin Meany for being on oh, our thank show you. tonight. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're going to stay for the rest of the evening. No, Mike, I, I really have to go. Oh. I have a uh, pressing engagement to... Oh, I'm just kidding. Tough, Kev. <laughs> No, I want, it's going to be fun.